for real series. In mathematics, generally, we have concepts, ideas or mathematical tools which are developed to represent complex or difficult processes or complex or difficult functions in terms of simple functions or familiar functions or familiar processes. When we have Taylor series expansion or Maclaurin series expansion which is possible for functions which are differentiable, we have another series known as Fourier series or trigonometrical series which can even be used to represent functions which are not everywhere continuous. Suppose you have a function f of x which has finite number of discontinuities and finite number of maxima or minima and f of x is periodic as well as bounded function then we can have Fourier series expansion possible for f of x. Suppose our periodic function f of x is defined for the interval c comma c plus 2l then we can have Fourier series representation for this function f of x in terms of sine pi n x by l and cosine pi n x by l which are familiar functions where n belongs to set of all integers. We have Fourier series expansion possible for a function f of x which is periodic, bounded as well as function accommodates only finitely many discontinuities or finitely many maxima or minima where f of x can be expressed as infinite series involving sine and cosine terms. We have f of x equals a0 by 2 plus summation n ranges from 1 to infinity a n cos pi n x by l plus b n sine pi n x by l which is the Fourier series representation of f of x and a0, a n and b n are known as Fourier coefficients or Euler coefficients. We have Euler's formula which will help us to compute Fourier coefficients. We have a0 equals 1 by l integral c to c plus 2 l f of x dx. We have considered f of x is defined for the interval closed interval c comma c plus 2l and for this interval we have length of this interval is 2l. Suppose that you take a function f of x which is defined for closed interval minus pi to pi then we have c equals minus pi and c plus 2l equals positive pi. We have l equals pi minus c by 2 which comes from this equation and therefore we have l equals pi plus pi divided by 2 which equals pi. We have just given c equals minus pi here in minus c and thus we obtained l equals pi which is valid for this interval closed interval minus pi to pi. When you consider f of x defined for the interval minus pi to pi we will have a0 equals 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x dx. This is because l equals pi when you take this interval and we have upper bound which is pi which equals c plus 2l and lower bound is c which equals minus pi. Thus we arrive at this expression for a node. Considering the same example that is f of x being defined for the interval minus pi to pi we will have a n equals 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x cos n x dx. This is because general formula valid for general interval closed interval c c plus 2l is obtained as a n equals 1 by l integral c to c plus 2 l f of x cos pi n x by l dx. When you give l equals pi here this reduces to cos n x. Similarly we have b n equals 1 by l integral c to c plus 2 l f of x sin pi n x by l into dx. When you consider this interval we have l equals pi and when you replace l by pi we have sin pi n x by pi becoming sin n x therefore for this interval we have b n equals 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x sin n x dx. We have Fourier series expansion for f of x which is expanded for this interval minus pi to pi will be of the form f of x equals a0 by 2 plus summation n ranges from 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. We have l equals pi thus we have cos pi n x by l becomes cos n x and sin pi n x by l becomes sin n x. Thus we arrive at this representation of f of x.